Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to bring something new. I kind of want to do a VOD review of something I captured last night during my games. Um, I know Killjoy is actually really good on this map. I actually prefer Killjoy on this map over Cypher, even though I am primarily a Cypher Sentinel main. However, when it comes to Ascent, I actually kind of prefer Killjoy, especially what I can do with her util over Cypher. So this is basically my VOD review of my personal self and uh, Immortal on Valorant console. So let's get right into the video and let me break down of my complete util usage and my train of thought each round. So honestly, I was uh, kind of AFK for the first like 30 seconds of when they came introduced because I was sending a text message and trying to set up this video. Or not this video, but just recording this game. So first things first, I do each round, especially on B. It's about an alarm bot right outside of B main. And then I'll put a turret up here. And so what this does is I get to clear everything here and it protects my flank. While this bot protects, uh, I believe it's called pizza, right here. And mark it. It holds anybody pushing out inside those two. While it also holds anybody peeking outside a tree. And so I have all this area where I can just, if my comms were working this game, because for some reason the party chat feature sometimes glitches out or something and doesn't work for me sometimes. I would be calming well this is clear right now and this is clear right now. So I heard this I heard the KO knife and I was just making sure just double checking nobody was doing anything. Now my first mistake right here is coming up and I'm peeking out in the open and I know I have my um sorry my my turret up there. The problem is since I messed up the turret placement off the first try, there could have been a timing issue where an enemy could have been in this cubby right here. However, I was I wasn't thinking about it until I looked back at it. So I think this is my literally my first mistake going into this round is really bad crosshair placement and understanding proper timing. Luckily, I never got punished here, and so I did dodge a bullet. Now you want to be careful lurking up this far up especially now my alarm bot is turned off because i'm not within the circle so i have no information now about this area so it could have been completely open for the enemy team however this is round one and usually you don't see that many lurkers on defense on round one especially when it comes to anchors as well because my mantra is never anchor on round one until they prove they will do a fake on you especially and we'll get to that on defense as well so i get into pizza I want to hold this. I provided so much information. So I'm holding this back area for my team. Watching the it's basically watching my flank and it's providing me information that if there's any lurkers are coming out outside of a main or a tree, I'm good. However, I'm all focusing on now this area right here. This is my kill zone area. Okay, now somebody just killed me from my turret back here. And this is why I put the alarm bot back behind me. And now I just go to town. I'm not trying to overdo it. But I got pretty lucky there, but I had no idea where the cypher was because for some reason I thought he I, I thought he was that I was taking the guess that he's the one who destroyed my turret. Unfortunately, I was wrong, so he killed me on pretty much in, inside of B. But honestly, I provided so much value that round where one, I got four, but also provided so much map knowledge to my team where my team was able to easily rotate and not worry about re-clearing all this, all this, worrying about somebody peeking here from tree. My turret, my setup provided all that information. So when my teammates realized, oh wait, this guy is just pushing up mid and he's all good and he hasn't engaged in any gunfights, it's safe to rotate. So I put my alarm bot back to the exact same spot as last time because nobody pushed out B main so there's no point of changing it up since nobody got punished by it or the enemy doesn't know where I place it. I want to put my turret at the exact same location and bam. Yep, so I provided so much information on tree. My turret's walking. Oh, and my alarm bot got spotted and then I just turned and killed that Yuri. That's a free kill and now I have the ability to just rotate and push here and I believe at one point my jet comes and joins me. Or somebody joins me. I don't want to push this all alone, so that's why I'm taking my sweet ass time. I don't want to rush this because I know that eventually there could be a two stack here. I don't know where Cypher plays, but now I do since I just heard the cam. So I'm pushing up, destroy the cam. I backed up. I wait for the Reyna. And now I push. Always check the corners. 
Now, there's no point of me pushing this. Never push a Cypher one way. And I'll give credit to the Cypher. He had some nice little one ways, both on offense and defense. So I give definitely Cypher some respect there. He definitely uh, searched up his YouTube videos. So I'm ready to go. I have my Molly set up. And so the reason why I'm using my mollies right now is because I want to block the area of entry from B main up here. I don't have to worry about here since my teammates have, have it occupied. So I pop it. I'm waiting for my teammate to get ready. I want to ping just in case. And bam. And I just provided all that information. Since there's no smokes as well. Um, I'll say this. Since there's no smokes, that's why I was doing it. I wasn't really confident. I really don't have that much confidence and usually in my smoke players. Especially on console right now. They haven't earned my console respect or my respect. But one, make sure you play off your util. Make sure you use your mollies in a round. You don't have to waste both of them on an entry, but on a situation like this where we have market control and B main control. I'm going to use maybe one molly, maybe two. Okay, now we're going to skip to round four. And really nothing really happened in round three. I got one kill. I damaged a few others. It was a bonus round. I, was, I wasn't really trying to do anything really special. I was just trying to do damage. So my train of thought is I wasn't really sure where my teammates were going this round early on. So I decided to switch up my setup. And so I would play away from my team. So first things I do, I like to put my turret out here. So my what my turret does is it clears here, but it also clears here for any potential lurk that pushes up. Now, I start pushing up with my jet, and my goal right now is to grab the orb. Now I have my ult, and so I wasn't sure what my teammates were doing at the time, and until it was mid-decided in the middle of the round, I was trying to ping to go B because my ult's better going B, but my team decided to go... A on me even though i try to ping where we should go but i think it's because i uh ping caution so i cleared it then i cleared it went i uh now the reason why i'm doing this with my mollies instead of shooting the instead of shooting the wall immediately i want to molly off back sight and the reason why i'm doing that is i'm preventing any potential quick peeks since my Killjoy ult doesn't fully block here, I want to make sure and prevent any enemy teammates from leaking on the site. Because right now, we have majority of site control. The only thing that's not covered is back here. So my job is to prevent anybody from flooding in and getting a sneaky little kill. So that, that's basically my job right now. So I made that, popped it, and perfect. The wall, I didn't have to do anything, and the wall was destroyed. Now we're gonna skip to round six. Uh, we won round four, no problem, it was no easy. Uh, round five was an eco round for them, so it was a pretty easy win. So we're able to catch in on our first buy round. We were able to catch in everything. So we skipped to round six, and I'm just waiting for this. This is actually, okay, first things first. And the previous round, I, uh, the Cypher actually put his cam up there, so it kind of threw me off. So that, that's why I was making sure, kind of like prematurely looking up there, just to make sure. So I put my alarm bot up, up further this time. And the reason why I did this is because I want to have a better lurk than I did in round one, where I can push up here without having this being turned off. So all we have to do is clear here, and this angle is pretty much clear. So I decided to push my alarm bot just a bit further up. Now, I threw a molly over there just to give a quick warning, maybe to flush somebody out, maybe to bait out somebody from here, because if they see the molly, they're like, oh, wait, somebody's over there. So I was trying to bait somebody out, depending on the location. Popped. And now I want to make sure I have crosshair, I'm pushing up, I have proper crosshair placement. Back to my elbow. Oh, my alarm bot was activated. But because I had proper crosshair placement, I was able to kill that Yoru, no problem. Now I wanted to place my turret up there, and now I'm I'm not pushing up. The bomb's been planted. It's a 5v2. My alarm bot's been activated, so I'm like, okay, either Killjoy or Cypher is behind me. And it's probably Cypher on the top of my head, mostly because he's been playing B the last couple of rounds, but you never know. So I decided not to push up, but I just decided to control mid. 
to prevent any people from rotating. And then Clove is watching here just in case of watching our back spawn from covering this rotation. So after a couple of minutes, uh, nothing's happening. So I decided, uh, then I saw, I heard the cipher. I guess he heard me, and this is why he peeks me right here. But got a simple lead to kill. And instead of doing anything special or overheating, I, I still don't know where this KO is personally. So I decided to back off, and my teammates got it. So we are going to skip to round 10. And this is what happened in round 10. So I put my turret, so I put my turret back here, just in case. So it blocks here, mostly. That's where it's properly controlling the area, and it prevents any enemy teams from lurking up mid. So my goal this round is to place the Killjoy ult and have my team just flood in completely. Luckily my teammates shot the Cypher cam so I don't get spammed through the wall. And so I want to make sure the Killjoy ult is in this corner. So it covers all of sight. Sometimes people who play Killjoy like to play it on top of the box or the right side of the box or somewhat on the left side of the box and it will leave a gap back sight completely open which is not a good idea. So I like to aim for this corner over here so it covers all of sight. So this gives my teammate the ability to push in. I just heard the Yoru ult and I, I have to respect it because I don't know if the Yoru is completely on the flank but he's actually going for the jet kill. So my check out a kill. Now I'm preventing uh, people flooding onto site with my mollies. And so that I did that. So I'm jumping in. I know backside is clear because of my ults. And a free easy plant. Bam. We basically won the round. Mostly because of my util usage. I was able to prevent everybody the pushing out. And I was preventing everybody the flooding in. And because I wanted to aggress be aggressive. I wanted to get that ego peek on that cypher. No reason why. Usually I wouldn't engage in that gunfight, but because I felt really nice and how I was playing, I decided to take it. Now, this is round 11, and I'm not going to lie. I don't think this is this was personally my best round at all. I think I definitely put in my notes for this round is criticizing my pathing and talk about my crosshair placement a lot more. And the reason why is because a lot of bad habits, sometimes even I have, is when I feel comfortable, I'm going to have lazy crosshair placement. So I have to respect the smoke. So that's why I backed up just a bit. So when you see the smoke down, this gives you the ability to mostly like peek mid or peek on a different location for like peeking reasons. So what I did was I decided to peek the smoke just to make sure nobody's going to get any funny. Then I decided to start peeking arches. Now I got to respect that the smoke is dissipating. So I started to push up, and luckily because of my crosshair placement and timing, I got that kill on the Yoru. Now, I placed my turret up there for reasons. So, because I know my teammate is looking to go to A, I believe. However, then I throw my molly up there. Now, I need to realize in the future, that we're 5v4. I got, I'm being patient right here because I don't know where anybody is. The kill... The KO is maybe somewhere here or here, depending on the knife thrown. There is one in here. My bot is safe over here. My turret is walking directly ahead of me. I think I really, for me in the future, I think I should pick up the pace just a bit right here. Because I'm taking my sweet ass time. So I just saw one, two in the mini map. I'm just like looking at the mini map. Three here. Cypher somewhere. And I'm just slowly pushing up. I think I need to speed it up just a bit much, a bit, uh, just a bit faster. And bam, pretty easy kill on the flank. So just to, just so a quick criticize, just so I, you know that I'm not perfect or anyway, is sometimes when you're lurking, you're a bit slow. And this is when, when you want to look at the mini map, especially when you're in a corner or something, just so you're not out in the open, you look at the mini map and then someone swings you. So I should have realized that I should have picked up the pace just a bit more. I got lucky. My team actually, my team did a really good job on the offensive side of this game. So I didn't have to worry about constantly. But also the enemy team gave me way too much respect. And I was just cooking in mid pretty much the whole round. There was only certain rounds where I decided to mix it up. And the enemy team did punish me once. Mostly because they played in a very unsuspecting location, I thought. But other than that, we did a pretty good offensive half. And as a killjoy, I was at the top of the leaderboard. I was feeling myself. I'm basically second on my team right now. 
So we're going to skip to round one of the defensive side, and I'm not going to lie, I prefer defense majority of the time. I love defense when it comes to Valorant. I don't know, it's just one of my favorite things. I, I think I more struggle on the offense side of Valorant than defense, just me personally. But on defense, uh, this is where Sentinels need to shine, and you got to be clear and precise of where you place your util, and especially early on. So I like to set my presence all over the map, and I want to make sure, especially on the pistol round, especially on pistol round, I gather as much information of the patterns of the enemy team. And it really comes early on, especially on the rounds we lose, I can understand how to improve in further rounds. So my basic, tr my basic setup when it comes to round one on Ascent is I like to place the uh, alarm bot in mid. I like to play my Killjoy turret on boxes or barrels that are just peeking outside of B main or into B main. And then I like to play one molly in the entrance way because my my job as a killjoy is not to get these cool little um kill trips or kill molly setups as a killjoy i like to prefer preventing the enemy team from flooding onto site all at once and maybe kind of punishing the very super aggressive jets and raises where you block off the molly but they dash and go forward you can punish that really well with killjoy so on the pistol round i like to start off here I like to play in market, so I have the ability to rotate between both of my utility. And if they're flooding onto B, I can pop my molly and they get ready to throw another molly. While my alarm bot, I can do the exact same thing with my alarm bot. I like to usually keep at least one uh, kill molly within my hand, so I have the ability to throw it. So one's mid, one's two are, two are A main, so right now I'm just making sure I'm not going to get timing. I started to rotate to A. Now the reason why I'm not rotating the well, the reason why I'm not anchoring at all. One, my alarm bot right here is covering all of main here. My jet just cleared out all of B main while now I just have the ability to start rotating. However, even then, I don't like to anchor, especially on pistol round. Because usually most people just head rush onto one site on on pistol round and they don't like to lurk as much. I personally do. So I start to rotate, I call my turret. Now I get ready for this gunfight. I want to make sure I break door, but I don't want to break it while my Clove is unable. So Clove just cleared out all of that, and now we're ready to flood onto site. So Yoru's main, so I throw my Molly there to block off the entranceway. I help my Clove to clear out site. I kill the um, Cypher. Now the problem here is when I try to repeat the Yoru, I had really bad crosshair placement of movement. So when I was about to attack the Yoru, even though I mollied him off, partially. Popped it. I killed this Cypher. I should have refocused and then get in a better position to peek. While my crosshair placement's all over the place, I had to over adjust. I was luckily enough to get a dink off. However, Yoru killed me, especially because I had 30 um, health at the time. One enemy remaining. But we were lucky to capitalize and my fade, not to spoil anything, but my fade clutched up right here. Now we're on to round two. Uh, this is my eco buy. So I pretty much do the exact same setup. Nothing really changes, especially when the enemies don't attack me. So at this moment, I did my setup and everything, but I, I, I did recognize at this specific moment that my jet wanted to be a little bit aggressive and with the judge. So I wanted to set him up for the best way possible. So what I personally did was I took one of my mollies and I chuck it at one of the B main entrances to prevent the enemy from pushing up and get my jet into the position that he wants to be. And if you check the mini map, my, bo my boy Jack got two kills and that only happens because I set him up properly and prevented the enemies from flooding into B main. Now we keep on going. I set up the follow-up chat because he does have a small, quite disadvantage. Now at this moment, I know where the trip is. It's a 4v3. And so I'm wondering to myself, do I push this? Do I be aggro here? Or do I be patient? Well, I decided to be patient because we're in a 4v3. We know where the cipher is. We know where the, uh, the other two are. 
Now, I wanted to be just a bit extra careful while my three team members were going into a gunfight. I might be able to get a timing on the Cypher for him being aggressive. So I decided to take my time and just play just a bit off his trip without actually activating it. And I was going to get the kill. It's just my teammate uh, basically took it from me. So I think personally, I played it pretty safe there and I maximized my team effort to actually winning the round. So this next round, I decided to actually change it up and go A this round. As a Sentinel main, I don't want to be too predictable. And I know that the enemy's team figure out that I was at B last round. But I decided to mix it up and go A. However, I do mess up just quite a bit there because I wasn't happy with my uh, alarm bot placement. But I decided to change it a bit. So always try to deploy your equipment very early on. Now I decided to play in tree because all I have to do is play off of my util. And because they're going to be playing default, you'll see it soon. I'm spreading out my util. Before I have this and this covered. However, now I have this and this covered. So I'm basically covering up the four lanes of avenue onto site. I got a free kill because of my turret because I knew where the KO was. Next. Now, right here, I should have recognized I was having a trouble hearing where he was probably properly. But if my comms were actually working this game, I would have calmed out. He was probably going mid just to notify my clove. However, my comms weren't working this game. So and then I should have rotated just a bit earlier because I should have rotated a bit earlier. I should have recognized that just a bit sooner because it seemed like KO was probably playing the lurk play while everybody else was on B. And unfortunately, my my clove, I honestly, due to me not able to trade her instantly, got her got my clove. I got my clove killed if I wasn't able to instant, instantly trade the cipher. Now, if I recognize that, I think this round would have played a lot different. So I had to clear everything out. My tree is clear. Now I recognize, OK, now they're going B this time. Definitely. So I pulled everything back. Uh, this your root overheated. Now I just want to pick up the weapon. I just popped it. Might as well. Now, I think is I don't I know where Cypher is generally, and most likely Clove is going to be playing on site. So my thought process is be patient and wait for my util to re regen, okay? Because uh, I saw the cooldown for my util. So I have an idea where most people play on this map. Most people like to play in this cubby right here or right here if they know I'm coming from like B spawned area. So that's why I have the idea. So first things first, I'll place down the turret facing towards the B bomb site. Now I saw that. I saw my thing activated and then I whiffed. I had a really bad crosshair placement. I kind of rushed my shot and I was expecting. I wasn't actually expecting someone to actually shoot it because my alarm bot wasn't activated. But at the same time, I think I had the right play right there. I had the right play in mind. I just, the execution wasn't there, mostly because of my crosshair placement. And I was just rushing my tempo just a bit. So I think if I just took my time, made sure I clear that angle a little bit better, I would have done a lot better. So just to get heads up. So if you're like on a 1v2, you want to look for 1v1s. So that's why I place out my turret here. So my turret has the idea to peek their spawn. I'll place my alarm bot. To clear that area it did however i wasn't ready for that gunfight so this round i decided actually just to uh in round four of the defensive side i decided to redo it again and i have a full buy this time always make sure i have one molly with me so i know that i can use my molly at a main entrance or tree entrance depending on if they're doing a split or not now I recognize Yuru is in mid, so I'm just playing off my util. I'm not trying to overheat. Unfortunately, my teammates were... Should, they should have bought, but I guess they didn't. I recognize the fade died. Well, I recognize the fade died, and I was like, okay, this is a time where I have to be careful. Okay, now my turret spots something. Oh, I'm not going to peek yet. I saw the cypher cam. Bam. Now I'm recognizing in this play. They're they're pretty quiet right now. Yoru went right into A. 
We're in a 4v5. That noise. I'm thinking that they're going to be this round. Now, I was a little late on that recognition, mostly because I was I was cons I was like so curious, like what the hell are they doing? Are they like pushing up cat? Or what are they doing? I didn't really right now at the current moment of the game. I just didn't recognize that the Yoru, this was all a fake by the Yoru and Clove. And so I started to rotate really fast. Spike planted. So now as I started clearing everything out, I probably, my best suggestion was, well, they're probably here to the left. And most likely that's where most people play. There's going to be two on site. So it's the Cypher and I believe it was the Sage that I just saw. I can't remember. Um, it was a Sage and Cypher I just saw. So we know the KO was here. Cypher's here. Yeah. Just making sure nobody's there. Oh, and the Sage is here as well. So we got Cypher, we got Killjoy, sorry, we got Cypher, we got KO, and we got Sage. Now the three people are here. And they're in a pretty good position. My teammates weren't ready. And the thing that prevented me from clearing it out, I should have recognized that that was actually just a waste, is these cypher stuff that he throws the one ways for are actually pretty disgusting and very hard to push. So truth be told, there was no point actually pushing the site to be honest. Even though we were in a 4v4, my teammates were just not coordinated enough to actually take retake the site. And they were a little bit too afraid to push. And Cypher just instantly just killed them both. I'm having a hard time pushing this because I'm stuck doing a one way. But I just tried to, decided to try to get some. This wasn't the best round, but it just really shows you that there's going to be certain rounds where your read is completely off and it just throws you off. But this round definitely led led me to understanding how they're going to play future rounds in the future. So I decided to adjust my gameplay style on the defensive half because of this round. And you'll see in the very last round why. Okay, so we fast forward to when it was 10-7 in the match. Uh, the last previous round, I didn't do too well. I kind of got picked off pretty easily because I was doing stupid stuff. No need to show that. But I decided to show off this round because this was a very this round was a very smart way to make sure you guarantee the round without overheating. So I got my basic setup, but this instead of this time, I put my turret in front of Jen just so it's a bit closer, so I have the ability to rotate just a bit faster and actually hold this just in case. So I was thinking of rotating, but I was like, no, no, I got, they got to earn, they got to earn their space. So my Yoru got one, nothing on my turret just yet. I'm waiting to pop my Molly, nothing is happening. We're in a 5v4. I'm inspecting two. Okay. That's key. Now there's three there and the KO is missing. Now I should have recognized that the KO is actually in this area right now. Spike down mid. Because I, I just decided to call everything back. I should have anchored just a bit harder. Because in the previous couple rounds before, KO decided to anchor. However, this time I wanted to clear out sight just in case, just to provide information that nobody's behind my enemy or my teammates. He does kind of partially clear it with the fade dog but not really that's a weird clove smoke i'm not gonna lie that kind of threw me off that's why i was trying to clear this really patiently now i got to this position right here cypher's still alive and his basic trip is still there so i decided to place out my turret and that cover is here and just in case it can help my teammate partially over here then i decided to throw my alarm bot behind me just to make sure so now on the mini map, my teammate just engaged right here to the cipher and the KO is mid. He came from CAD, unfortunately, because of my over rotation just a bit. 
However, I was able to get the Cypher on a pretty clean heady. Now, we, I just kind of decided to overheat just a bit, but I recognized my teammates are idiots and they peaked one by one, one by one. And I was like, okay, I, I, I'm not going to engage this. Like he has to plant the bomb, close door, guaranteed my, guaranteed my team to win. And that's it. I didn't ha I was about to overheat. Then I cracked up myself and then I pulled back because there was no point in me in overheating because he had to plant the bomb. Okay. Now we're into 11-7. I decided to set up over here again, mostly because they're kind of respecting my equipment a little much and they're having a hard time pushing into A. So I wanted to tell my teammates if I did, I would have told my teammates more stack up on it. B this time, mostly because they're not pushing my equipment and it's pretty easy for me holding the site. So I'm just fucking around here. I was just analyzing the minimap to find what I wanted to do. No fade eye right there. My teammates use both of their smokes instantly. I believe I pinged there because I believe I heard something. So I was ready for at any moment. I was ready to pop my ult. So we heard the sage. I was really wanted to be patient. I didn't want to waste it. I wanted to make sure that they were actually hitting the site before I used it. So I popped my man a uh, nano, prevent them from going in. I wanted to make sure I threw that correctly. And went back into my position. This position right here for the KJ alt is really powerful. And it covers all of A. I know Reyna's covering my mid. I decided to pull back my alarm pot because they weren't pushing. Now, this is key. I recognize the cypher cam mid. Most likely one's going to be here now. And I told my clove to watch out for here. And luckily he adjusted into his, his position because it came out clutch. Now my team got like three discovered right here. So I decided, okay, I should place my alarm pod and leave. And then honestly, I was kind of bad decision for that. I was like, hold on, two are not on site right now. One's going to be here on site and one's going to be planting the bomb most likely. So I wanted to be super aggressive here. Luckily this, this clove was not paying attention, which was nice. Now this was key. The fact that I held on to my ult, and I know two are not on site at all. And I know Cypher is the only one on site because he's the one who's planting the bomb. I was ready to engage and I know whatever gunfight that I'm about to have, this match between the me and Cypher is gonna de determine the game. Or not the game, but the round. So I decided to be a bit aggressive. I didn't want to over peek. I wanted to make sure I knew where the Cypher was. My drone got, or my kill droid turret got one. I was able to kill the Cypher, and honestly, I didn't have to do anything else other than that. I just stuck to the defuse, and that's it. So this round, I decided to mix it up and start off at B. And I wanted to make sure I get into a position where most likely they're going to push pretty hard. I heard the Cypher cam and the B main entrance, and so I knew my Reyna was going to die here, mostly the way she was posi being positioned. Three there, or on the left side of the map. I wanted to prevent them. I kind of messed up my second molly, which was bad. And now my key was to at least get one. My idea was to get at least one. I, then I got one, backed off, and I just whiffed there. That's pretty much it. I had the right idea, I believe, and I just whiffed. Now, I don't want to spoil anything, but this final round is what I call perfect Valorant where you play at your absolute peak and you just steal the round just by yourself. I won't spoil. I won't spoil what happens, but I, cause I won't talk through it, but just, just watch, I guess you can say. Oh, and then I just also, I decided to mix up my setup just for the record. Also, I decided to play around, like, you want to make sure you can bounce that molly off the wall so to hit your, to react with your alarm bot, so that's why. So, I'll be patient, I'll shut up. This is what Perfect Valentine's borderline almost calls.
will catch them. Here. Ah, uh, bring them down. Bomb grenade out. Enemy A. Recalling my bot. Down B. Thirty seconds left. Placing a lambot. Last player standing. Time out. Ten seconds left. One enemy remaining. Spike planted. Now, I don't want to toot my horn, but I think that's what's considered borderline. I could I, I could have played it maybe a bit different in some ways, but I think this is borderline perfect Valorant. Just the way I played this matchup. And it was absolutely, it was nice. Let's just say nice. So just to bring it back to the beginning, just to break down what I did. So I did my basic kind of like setup on A. I, this is a team that's actually not rushing the site pretty hard. And so that's why I was able to spread out my util for majority. I don't think I did a single kill joy, like kill site up at all for any site this whole game. Even the ones I didn't show you. So I recognize that I was playing off my turn. I was also playing off my fade just a bit here. So my fade through his dog. And then I popped my molly because I felt like they were pretty close within the entranceway the second time. Now, you hear that, you heard the sage wall go up. So I believe in round four of this attack, of this defensive half, this sa same sage wall went up and they rotated off the B because most likely they sage wall right here. So all I would have to do is rotate just quickly to B. To play off the timing because they weren't expecting me so i recognized that and i hustled super hard really like pretty fast i didn't know anybody was there because my reina wasn't covering it so that's why i pulled out my gun there i wanted to slow down and then i was able to engage in that gunfight with cypher now i didn't want to overheat so i wanted to take my time instead of just swinging out i wanted to take my sweet time to clear these angles Now, once I got to Yoru, the Sage didn't have his gun out, her gun out, so it was a basically easy picking. That's a free kill on the Cypher off the res. Now, there's two ways I could have done it. I'm I'm wanted to make sure I stood still. I know there's an argument where you could probably go into B site. The only problem is I didn't particularly I knew where the KO was, but I wasn't sure if he was going to timing me right here to peek me right here. So I wanted to maintain my position. And wait for my util to come back. So I dodged the knife, thankfully. Because my util came in clutch, actually. Threw my alarm bot down just to make sure that KO doesn't sneak up on me. Then my fade died. But I wanted to hold over here. I had to respect the KO because I wasn't sure what this KO was going to do. Threw my turret out. Decided to maybe get a hopefully a lucky wall bank. This KO completely through. And after here, it's just it's just perfect. I didn't want to overheat here because I wanted to make sure he was in the middle of a gunfight of shooting my killjoy like stuff. And then he wasn't facing me. Easy pickings. And that's a nice little 6k ace to finish off to help me help my team win the game. So that's it for the video, everybody. Hopefully uh, you found this somewhat entertaining and somewhat enjoyable for all you killjoy mains there. But also for anybody who's not playing killjoy, like Definitely ideal, like, visualize what you need to do as your team. Like, I think a lot of the stuff I did can be done with an omen, can be done with 
any of these other characters. It's just I, I kind of abused and used my util a bit more than what other people on Valorant console would do. Mostly because I know that Killjoy has the unique advantage of she can play off her turrets compared to the other agents. So that's it for the video, everybody. Peace out. Don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time.